Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Victoria 2 as Sweden. So we are continuing to beat up on the Africans because reasons. We're potentially going to become a great power fairly soon, and when that happens, we're going to become Scandinavia. Why do we want to become Scandinavia? Why? I'll tell you why. It's because the Danish peoples have people. They've got peoples. There's 432,000 of them. We want them. We want to tax them. We want to... We want, we want them. We want to tax them and turn them into military men. And uh, production and stuff. Um, no, I'm not going to ally you. Go away. I am not your friend. I don't think that he's going to stay a great power. He's currently in 7th place. Spain's going to drop from great power status to give it up to us. Uh, let's see. Prussia is... Alright, let's see if we can use political map mode to determine, like, kind of how the great powers have squared off. So right now, UK has allied themselves to the Ottomans. Is that correct? Is that what I'm seeing? Yes, they have. So, that's interesting. Prussia, on the other hand, is allied with the Netherlands. And they, I believe, are a great power as well. No, they're not. They're not a great power right now. We, we want an ally. We want someone to help us out against Russia. Prussia or Austria would both be great. The problem is that, like, Austria's allied with France. Prussia's allied with... Um... It really just looks like they're allied with the, uh... The Netherlands. So, hey, Prussia, you want to be buddies? Negative 35 reasons. That can actually be overcome pretty well. The infamy needs to come down, and other than that... Maybe we can do it. So, yeah, I'll start increasing relations with them a bit. And see if there's any way that we can get an alliance. What I don't want is I don't want it to be... There's eight great powers, right? And uh, one of the great powers is the United States. And so they don't count. So there's actually seven great powers. What you don't want is that you don't want it to be like these two, these two, these two. And you're like, oh, I'll just... I guess I'll just... I get, I get the United States? Is that what you're saying? Because we don't want that. Because they're far away and they suck. All they care about is production. They're just horrible people. They don't ever send troops over. Okay. Um, he did... He lost far fewer troops than we did. He did a pretty good job, actually. We're just gonna put the whole army together. we get to Zanzibar without uh, ships? I don't think so. Oh, of course, of course I'm going to suffer attrition. Sorry, people. I apologize. It happens. Well, fortunately, there's four provinces, and we can get 75% with three. So we should get a ticking war score. Hey, we are considered to be a great power now. Wonderful news. Okay, so we are a great power. Hey, uh, Prussia, ally. Be my ally. Be my ally? Why don't you be my ally? I'm a great power. I'm so amazing. Uh, increase relations. Alright, so this unlocks the whole influence system in the game. Um, so we need to sphere Denmark, basically. That's the primary goal. So very first thing we want to do is get an alliance with them. They'll still not accept because they're pansies. Base reluctance. We just have to sphere them. We're gonna spend all of our influence points, which I'm gonna I don't care if anyone discredits us, if anyone does anything to us at all, we are totally just going to sphere them. Because that's all you have to do to become Scandinavia. Now we're getting a penalty to our influence generation because of other national investors. So if we look at production, go to foreign investment, we go to neighbors, in Denmark, we can see that the United Kingdom has spent two pound two thousand pounds. So they've probably built a railroad or something in Denmark. And since they're the only investor, everyone else gets a 50% penalty to influence. So what that means is that we want to invest at least 2,000, if not a little bit more, to offset the majority of that penalty. So, unfortunately, we've already lost money. Um, and we're already at <laughs> pretty much maximum, maximum everything. Let's see if we can accumulate a little bit of money so we can build some railroads or something. Because I do want Denmark a little bit quicker. Hey, we can march straight to Zanzibar. Cool. 
Why is there... Why is that possible? I don't see straight. Whatever. I guess we just occupy it and don't worry about it. Nice. Five prestige. Okay. Hey, Oman. I'm pretty sure I have enough war score. Ten is more than seven, just so you know. Hey, Denmark. I almost have money. And we can pass the social reform. Alright, so the issues. The people want... Um, they would like censored press. Right now we have state press only. We can do censored press, which increases immigrant attraction. There's a 146,000 people lobbying for the enactment of this reform right now. So they want that. Um, which is fine. We could do secret ballots. I think that we just do what the people want, which is they want this. So we'll do censored press. Up from the other one. Yes, you did see it. In there, there's the option to release John Mayan. We're probably not going to do that. I mean, maybe. I don't know. So most of our people are getting their life needs. No one's really suffering except for the artisans. And they don't count. Now, I'm sure there's been people commenting already saying, hey, you shouldn't tax the rich so much. I'll stop taxing the rich when it's time for them to start building stuff. Until then, we need the money. There's a the surrender. We accept. And we are still two years away from being able to tax Sokoto again. Who else can we pick on down here? Well, Portugal is not a great power, but they are allied to the Netherlands and Spain. That would be a big, big war. Can we, I wonder, if we can just cross this... Without ships. You can in... A couple of the other Paradox games that are out there. Uh, Spanish Morocco. See, I was actually thinking about taking that one from them. They won their war. Very, very small population in Morocco there. Algeria is friendly with France. So France could step in if, if we, we tried to go for them. Tunis is friendly with no one. Cordial, though, with the Ottomans. And the Ottomans have... No, we're supposed to be looking at Tunis. Ottomans have nine. So they're quite a long way from being able to make them friendly. It's 41 influence. That's still possible, though. Is it even a country that I'd want to attack? They're primitive. They have two states. No, they don't. They only have one state. Annex and uncivilization. So because they only have one state, we just take all of their land. It's ten, ten infamy this time. Um, I'm gonna go for... Well, maybe we try to get the alliance with Prussia first. If we pick up a bunch of infamy, they might not want to do it. Looks like it's taking double our infamy as reasons for not becoming allies. So we have 50 overall relationship with them, and that's giving us plus 12 reasons. Okay. So we're at negative 28. Let's see what happens if we increase relations once. Negative 28. Next month we'll check. You do something to Denmark. Increase opinion with them. Alright, Prussia. Negative 28 was the number. So each click is worth 4. I have space for it. It would take maybe a year. Prussia's only fifth position, but I think I think it's probably the only alliance I can actually get with another great power.
if the Netherlands becomes a great power, and they usually do, maybe we would want them to be ours. They're friendly with two people. It would be a very, very, very contested area. Um, now I'm just going to focus on attacking people. I'm going gonna, gonna to turn you into a thing. Don't get caught. Let's send our army north. Uh, we should probably split you. Alright, we will send you two first. Supply limit. Ah, I should have just combined them. Supplies only six. Tell you what, let's just march up to our own land for now. In small batches. Check colonial map mode. Make sure we're not missing any colonization opportunity. We still need mission to civilize, or whatever it's called, the thing that. Denmark has, uh, okay, so we have been, what that is, is we just got discredited by Prussia because they want Denmark to be in their sphere, which lowers our influence generation by a ton, but we're still going to do it anyway. Also, we do have enough money that we could potentially build stuff in their territory, but we don't know how to build stuff. We don't know how to make railroads yet, so we can't actually invest in there. So it's costing a lot. I'm really wasting a lot of influence by focusing on Denmark. Negative 125% influence generation. We should be able to do like 0.5 per day, and we're getting 0.235. We're gonna do it anyway. Hey, min life rating minus 5, that's the one we wanted. That means we should be able to colonize a bunch of stuff. Down here. We only have 80, 91 free, so we can only choose one or the other. This is only, wow, 180,000 people. That's pretty good. This one is 2. Alright, we're going to go over that one. Time for some coffee! Wait. Never mind, the numbers have... Oh, they cut down. Okay, so yeah, we have 21, 21 points free. Now we don't have enough points to do another expedition. So, we need to build more boats. Can we afford more boats? No, of course not. But we're going to build them anyway. So let's see. Um, I've already forgotten. There is on the wiki a way to determine which one gives you the most... Uh, colonial power. One hundred ninety-one. I think we need to do, we need to do railroads next, so we can actually start investing. Experimental Railroad. It's about time, eh? So we went from 1.04 million to 2.44 million. That's great. We're in 7th place. So we knocked Spain out. And the Ottomans are usually quick to fall behind after that. Hey, Denmark. Why don't you... Hey, only three infamy. 30% of what we expected. That's awesome. We're going to get all of Tunis, including their capital, with 118,000 people. Sweet! All pops become more militant and become more liberal. Or... Free press. We like the, we like the free press. Alright, so... Unfortunately, I'm taxing people so much. Oh, sweet! Compulsory elementary school introduced. Wonderful news. 702 research points. That's a good good little chunk. Alright. Well, since we didn't pick up that much, it might even be possible to still get you to ally us. 
eventually. I'll keep on improving relations with you just because I'm hoping that that might happen, but we'll see. Okay, uh, we have our CB against you. Just check again, you are so cordial with the Ottomans, 18 influence now. And as far as army goes, you have 6 brigades, which is going to be 18,000 troops. That means that this army should be sufficient to kill it. And uh, we've, we've got to just move on this before the Ottomans try to take them. Then again, if the Ottomans stop being a great power, then their influence doesn't matter. But the Ottomans do have quite a bit of military, like we, we would not want to fight the Ottomans. They have 35 brigades, and they actually have a little bit of army tech, 4, four levels of army tech, where we have five levels of army tech. So they're not as good as we are, but they're not something to just ignore. I feel like I should probably build a few more ships, regardless of which one's better. I'm gonna build, uh, frigates. Those are cheap. 5.7 pounds per day versus 9 pounds per day. Never mind, let's build some man of wars. There was score as well. We can afford them. Ish. Doing pretty well on research points. We still need more clergy. We're almost up to 4% in our two primary spots, which is maybe overkill, but I feel like it's still better to invest in the high pop regions than the low pop regions. East House Salon, you have 570,000 people. Damn. Can we focus on clergy down here? Yeah, by all means, let's focus on clergy down here. Will that count? Clergy 3%, clergy 3.2%. It's it's factoring total population, right? It's not, uh... Right now it's 1.6. Yeah, I think it's factoring all of them. It really is. So, okay, yeah, by all means. Clergy! 3.2, 3.0, so... That'll be the one we do. And we have Railroad. Nice. Okay, so Denmark. You're going to become part of my sphere soon anyway. Um, unfortunately, if, if you have ongoing construction when they become... When you click that button, then I think the, the construction just goes away. So we're going to waste the... Waste the money. But... It's... Okay, we can actually increase opinion right now. We need to get to 100 influence now to actually sphere them. We're already at friendly. Um, I, I feel like spending a little bit of money... Upgrading their railroad would be a good idea. So we'll spend a little bit of money there. And now, when we go and we look at them, we can see that we generate a lot more. Other investors minus 20 instead of other investors minus 50. And we're only discredited until April 4th. So in about a month, suddenly our points will jump up again. Prussia's probably going to discredit us again. But for a short period of time, we'll be fine. Okay, um... More tactics could be good. More morale could be good. A tiny bit of navy so that we can unlock the uh, commerce raider might be nice. But it is getting close to that time where it's time to do uh, industrialization. More prestige could be good. Practical steam engines, very good. How much grain do we actually produce? 43.3 grain per day. It's our second most produced thing. Okay, that, that kind of sol solves that. Practical steam engine is just good on its own, but it also really improves grain output with the invention of the rotten Rotherham plow. So, that is a good research for us. We're losing a bunch of money because I am building ships. They are expensive. Spending on construction, 180. So once those are done, it won't be nearly as high. And our troops are still marching up that way. The actual interest rate that you pay for having debt is not very high. And we got... Uh, discredited again. Doesn't matter, we're gonna get him. You can't stop me. More shared prestige. And we're gonna have to declare this war now. This is gonna be... We have to occupy everything. Like we need a lot of war score for this one. 
Fortunately, the supply here starts to come up. Once we get to the coast, it'll be nice and high. Coming through the deserts! It's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see how that pays off. It's fine. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. It's just, you know, we're desert dwellers. So we have 11 liters. Let's create more generals. It'll do it automatically, but it's nice to, uh, to get the extra points. Become more liberal or lose prestige? Uh, no. More plurality. Nice. Research is really kicking in quickly in this campaign. This is great. Plurality is doing awesome. Plurality is right here. We're at 44%. It can go all the way up to 100. It's increasing right now. But we want, we want more. Um... We're getting a bunch of clergy down in East Hauseland, down here. And we're one year away from being able to attack Sokoto again. So I think we finish this war, then we turn here again, then we probably go for Ethiopia again, then Egypt, then Oman. Just keep on going in this little rotation, taking as much Africa as we can. Dig deep and greedily. Iron and blood. Not by speeches and votes of majority are the great questions of the time decided, but by iron and blood. A new rich load of iron ore has been discovered in the Lulea mine. It is located at a perilous depth. I don't care. So, Lulea. Up here. Makes iron. Right now it's producing 0.57-ish iron per day. Let's see what it does next. It's double. Good. More iron. We need the iron. And this can become a protectorate. That frees up our points. Colonize this region now. 74,000. Oh, yep, yeah, that's going to be the one. Okay, cool. Um, I might do a little tiny bit more investment in Denmark just to even speed it up faster. How are we doing on diplomacy? We're already 58. It's probably not necessary. Ah, it's only 2,000 pounds. Let's do it. That takes us up to a little bit faster. Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.